There'll be five hands, two minutes maximum to explain each hand, and I will try and guess who wins or loses. Okay, this time we're going to use the stop uh, the stopwatch instead of the timer because people don't like the alarm. And we are going to start with our first hand now. So we face a cutoff open and a flat, flat from SB as well, and a flat by big blind. No surprises there. Nine nine five rainbow. Uh, pretty good board for the blinds range. Uh, so it checks round to the button who bets just about half pot. SB calls, chirpy folds, and strategy folds as well. So we have a heads up pot, 905. Turn is a king of spades. Master checks and relid bets small relative to the pot, just under half pot. I'd expect master to check raise here with some 9x and potentially just flat with fives full. And master does flat. River is the backdoor spade draw, the deuce of spades. Uh, the board doesn't really change that much. Six seven eight seven. Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah, six seven eight seven. Primary bluffs on flop have missed. It checks, and Relid bets close to pot. Interesting. I think Relid has more spades here than Master, and Master has more nine x and fives full. Um, it's also possible Relid has fives full. Master goes for the min raise. I think Master is going to have a 9x here. I think it's actually an overplayed 9x. If you're going to check raise this river, you should be jamming. So I think this is going to be a weaker player. So I'm going to say Master loses his hand with the 9x. And I think Relid backs into a spade here. Relid actually re-jams over this. Yeah, I'm going to say fives full or backdoor spades. Master has an overplayed 9x, and let's see what they have. Oh, wow. Quads versus boat. I mean, that's a cooler, and there's not much they can do about that. All right, looking at the second hand, we have a limp from under the gun, a call from MP, a small raise by small blind, Flat from big blind, flat from under the gun, and we go four way to the flop. King 10 9, this looks like an action type of board. Uh, small blind was the initial raiser, does bet into everyone, that's pretty strong, and actually gets called by everyone. So we see a turn. I don't think SB has that many jack X in range unless they have king jack or queen jack that flopped it. Bets again, so. Here, the problem here is that when you bet into four, your hand is very face up, so it's going to be a jack a lot. So I'm going to say Jing has a jack or at least, sorry, at least a jack, could even have ace jack. Danzi, the big blind, raises, and we see two folds from the, the under the gun, the early positions. I mean, this is also basically saying I have a jack as well, which I don't mind the raise because there are two flush draws out there, plus sets and two pairs can still boat up. So there's still quite a lot of hands that can catch up to the straight. Although the problem with this is you are going to get stacked by ace jack a lot. Uh, we know Jing definitely has a jack here. Jing flats, which is interesting. Well, I mean, that's a pretty good river for Jack X. And Jing checks and BB jams. I mean, they're both going to have a Jack. I think Jing has... Well, the fact that Jing just flattered the turn makes me suggest that Denzi probably has more Jack, Ace Jack now. So I'm going to say Denzi wins this. Or it could just be a chop here a lot of the time, actually. In fact, I'm just going to say this is a chop. Yeah, I'm just going to say this is a chop. Okay, so they both have King Jack. Okay, third hand, we have a min raise from under the gun, a flat, a squeeze from Nomads. We get the under the gun call, uh, opener folding and poker flats in behind. I mean, this range here, 
uh, is quite a middling range. I think it's somewhat strong, but also could be a middling range, like pseudo connectors, tens, jacks. It's pretty capped range. I don't think aces and kings that do decide to flap the pre-flop, knowing that there's aggressive players behind, would just flat here. I'd expect them to back raise, but let's take a flop. 10-8, deuce, rainbow. Good board for nomads to continue. They do. Turn is a 10. Great card for poker, in fact. I mean, Nomads can have some Ace-10, King-10 squeezing, depending if they think Hushi is opening under the gun too often and Poker might be a recreational player. Nomads bets on the 10. This is very strong. Uh, the 10 actually hits Poker's range more than it does Nomads. Nomads can have 8s here as well. But then again, this could be a lot of Blast back to Hearts, so we will see what happens. Poker flats... River is an ace. Well, now there's... Now, I mean, this is weird hand if Nomads jams. Okay, Nomads bets just over half pot. This is really interesting. I'm not exactly sure. Let's see what Poker does. Okay, Poker jams. Yeah, look, Poker just has more 10x than Nomads. Poker also probably has 8 as well more often than Nomads. Due to poker's range being a lot stronger here, I will tag poker as the winner and nomads as the loser. In terms of what they actually have, I'm going to say poker has ace-10 suited or eights full. Could also have king-10. That's uh, that's fine to jam as well. And maybe deuces at some frequency. I, I'm not sure how Nomads can bet call here with like Ace King, Ace Queen, some sort of bluff. So maybe Nomads has a 10 as well. Well, I'm going to say Poker's range is a lot stronger. Nomads could have backed into the Aces full as well. But I'm going to say Nomads has some sort of 10x, a weak 10x potentially. Okay, so that is very interesting. So clearly poker is a recreational player and Nomads was just betting the turn unbalanced uh, to get max value and it's a pretty good river to stack poker. Alright, looking at our fourth hand, we have a min raise from under the gun again. Uh, kills, avatar, three bets. And we get a min four bet essentially. Uh, I don't see how kills ever folds here. Does fight in position. We take a flop of 663. Now, from sizing, I'm just going to assume that Gluk is a recreational player. And Gluk does check, kills, bets, gets raised. I'm going to put this out here. I'm probably going to get this hand extremely wrong. Okay, then a min raise over the raise on 663, and then another min raise. Is this going to min raise over? No, it's not. So eventually, kills does flat. Uh, at this point, I'm going to assume Gluk has an over pair or some random spaz out sort of hand. I mean, this is just the same, like, anyway, no comments. Nine of clubs on the turn. Whose range does this hit? I don't know. I've never been in a min-raise, min-raise, min-raise pot on 663. In a 4-bit pot, so... <clears throat> I do... I will have to say, though, when I was dragging this hand over, I do know who wins. So I'm not going to pretend like I, uh, I'm theorizing. I know who wins, but I did not see their hand. So, 120 to 223, I mean, basically kills... I mean, I think Gluk is pretty much pot committed at this point. Kills has a value hand, I think it would be very wise to just get it in here, which they do. Gluk calls, I'm going to say Gluk has overpair, at least aces or kings, I don't think it's going to be anything worse, and Kills probably has 6x or clubs, and okay, aces, aces still has that 22% equity despite being awfully played, Kills gets the dream flop in a min 4-bet pot. Does the aces spike? Well, we know that kills win, so no. 
Okay, final hand of the day. We have a min raise from under the gun. Kills involved in this hand again with a 3-bet versus under gun. I mean, with these stack depths, this could be quite a wide range. And we face a 4-bet. Uh, relatively small uh, due to the stack sizes. I probably want to see this a lot bigger. Particularly out of position, stack sizes, you probably want to make this at least uh, three times a three bet. So it's 48, anything above 48 seems pretty good. And kills flats in position, so getting a good price, definitely not folding, uh, flatting in position and taking a flop. Jack deuce four, really not much going on here. Very unlikely either player has deuces or fours. I think kills can have jacks more than GG, so definitely kills has the jacks, but GG just dominates with the aces and kings and queens component of range. GG does continue, which is correct. Good size as well. Kills raises. Not sure what this raise is. Um, I guess hands like ace jack might want to raise here. Protect equity makes sense. Not you would have to really construct your range here well for this to be good. Definitely uh, for equity denial, this makes sense, and it's probably a lot of information between the two of them that I am unaware of. GG does flat, uh, so at this point, I think GG does have an overpair here now, or at the very worst, ace queen suited, ace king suited, and I guess I can have some ace jack suited. Um, in range as well. Kills, bets on turn. GG, flats. Kills has more bluffs here than GG at this point. River 10 doesn't really change much. I don't think either player has 10s here. Uh, I don't think either player has Jack 10 suited here. So this is very, we're playing with some very narrow ranges here. GG checks and kills jams. Kills is going to have some bluffs here. Spade, spade. Uh, although, when kills bets three streets against a call on flop, I'm going to say GG is just going to have... I mean, I don't think this is going to be a bluff that often. I mean, it's a very narrow range of representing three combos of jacks, but, you know, it just doesn't... I mean, aces and kings are just never folding here. Um, I don't think queens are... I mean, queens probably actually fold, but I don't know. This seems, this seems very strong. And yes, I'm going to put them on a very narrow, tight range of jacks only, but I'm going to do it. It's either going to be jacks or ace queen of spades, ace king of spades, and maybe ace ten of spades. It's turned into a bluff. So I'm going to say kills here wins with the top set against GG's aces or kings. Yeah, jacks. I mean, it's just it's a little bit. Um, I mean, I, I, like I said, I I don't really know these two players. They could be regs. They might kills might be very balanced here, um, but. I don't know, I think just from an outside perspective, when it's pretty obvious GG has aces and kings and very little fold equity on this run out, I think kills is going to be weighted more towards value, and yeah.